as that June 2022, Uganda had borrowed to the tune of 36.4 trillion shillings to fund several government projects in 12 sectors. Of the 36.4 trillion, 17.4 trillion shillings is yet to be absorbed. This represents 47% of underperformance. Some of these loans date back to 2013 and continue to work through interest. 7.458 trillion shillings was allocated to the natural resources, environment, climate change and water management, but only 5 trillion has been used, 8.96 trillion for the energy development, but 2.95 is yet to be spent, and of the 12.41 trillion for works and infrastructure services, 6.47 trillion shillings is lying idle. 926 billion was given to sustainable urbanization and housing, but 75 billion is yet to be used. And for human capital development, which got 1.24 trillion, 273 billion shillings is yet to be used. Most of these loans have been borrowed from the China Exim Bank, India Exim Bank, OPEC Fund, and Standard Chartered Bank, among others. Finance Minister Matia Kasaija blamed the underperformance to entities that delay to requisition the loans from the National Treasury. You are the Minister for Finance, Planning and Economic Development. These challenges point to poor planning. Why should we take a facility? It sits on our portfolio for many years when the issue, which is a local issue, we cannot even afford to resolve it. It is they who request the money. Once the loan has been brought, they are informed, first of all, even before the loan is, 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 is acquired, they are part and part of the process of acquiring that loan. They will invite them in the top management, you, you want this. Some of them are actually, many of them, they initiate. They say, please, we have a project like this, like this, like this. Would you please look for a loan? Or would you give us money? If I don't have the money, the local, I mean, with, with my, the resources I, I, I get from taxes and so forth, then I say, in order to do that, we have to, to, to borrow. Let's have these MDAs such that whoever is responsible for what can explain. We don't want to attach these explanations of underperformance to us as a committee, yet the responsible agencies are there. Committee members say they will block the new loan requests until money that is sitting unspent is utilized. Because we can't keep on approving loans, we can't keep on discussing loans, and we have other loans seated and doing nothing. So we are here to find solutions. We In fact, it is going to affect the approval of all the pending loans. Because this team, will, it will find it very difficult to recommend to Parliament to approve a, a new loan without knowing how the others are performing. And Uganda's public debt stood at 73 trillion shillings as of June 2022. Herbert Ziwa, NTV at Parliament. Bye.